This is the biggest November 17th rally in years. This year, the central anti-austerity message is being broadcast by the ousted workers of Greece's former national broadcaster ERT. Like the occupant students four decades ago, ERT professionals set up a small makeshift radio station inside the National Technical University of Athens, widely known as the Polytechnic. The police evicted us from the ERT compound. This didn't even happen during the junta. But it happened in austerity Greece in 2013. We will continue to broadcast the ERT radio signal, as it now represents the struggle of the austerity-stricken people in the country. Students, workers and thousands of civilians come to lay wreaths and flowers in memory of the students' uprising. The journalists appreciate the similarities of the past and present crises. Broadcasting from within the Athens Polytechnic is deeply symbolic. We have to resist the onslaught of austerity policies in Greece like they had to resist the dictatorship in those days. We've been voicing Greeks who tolerate a very negative political and social terrain. Our responsibility is grave and we will continue to provide an alternative news outlet. Forty years after the historical fact, the 1973 Athens Polytechnic uprising has come to represent and signify the Greek anti-austerity movement and is more relevant than ever before. At least 50,000 people marched to the US Embassy, a symbol of foreign intervention for Greeks and for many, the force that installed the colonel's regime in 1967. Most Greeks still blame the US for supporting the military regime. Previous marches had been marked by riots and running battles between police and protesters, but this year's commemoration went off without incident. The protesters moved as the riot police looked on in what has been one of the emotional commemorations of November 17th. Kostantin Venizelos, Press TV in Athens.